hi there guys and welcome back for some more let's play paper mario ttyd in the last part we earned the ability to turn into a paper boat in this uh pirate's grotto and in this part we're going to keep going through the pirate's grotto and possibly reaching the end of it although that's very likely but whatever oh by the way in that battle that we had uh at the end of the episode there that i kind of just ended in the middle of and i finished off camera um i figured out that I completely remember, actually, uh, that the red version of the Emperor's name is Lava Bubble. And in case you watch uh, the verses I'm doing with the Super Paper Scorps, uh, I, I always call Potabos in the Mario series Lava Bubbles, because in Mario Party 5, the name of the, the capsule that looks like that is a uh, Lava Bubble. So apparently in this game and that one, they call it a Lava Bubble. I don't know why, but they do. So yeah, I'm not crazy. I'll show it off if we run into another one of those guys. Just so I'm absolutely not completely insane to people. Patrick! He's probably not watching this. Whatever. Okay, well, I'm gonna take out Bobbery again here. Hopefully no more spikes. Because I don't want to have to deal with any more of those. We are getting pretty close to the end of the game now that I think about it. Which is pretty cool. Alright, well, I'm going to head to the right here first. We're actually supposed to go down that waterfall, but there's something we can get over here first. I don't remember what it is. I think it's a badge of some sort, but behind this waterfall, there's something. I don't know what it is, again, but it's in this treasure chest. So, what is it? Defend plus P, not bad. If I have way too many badge points, I guess I'll put that on. Because, you know, one more defense from my partner ain't bad. Wait a minute, do I have my... Do I have that on? Do I have the, uh... Okay, yeah, I do have my power plus P on. Just wondering. Just wondering. Um... Okay. I'll need to put on Zap Tap. I want to put on Zap Tap before the boss's area. But... Whatever, I can be fine if I don't get to... Okay, nothing over there. Down the waterfall we go. Okay. I don't think there's anything to the right or left, so... Oh, there's things to the right and left, because that's where we gotta go. Not to the right, but to the left, apparently. Can't go underneath that waterfall? Alright. Remember, get everything perfectly now. Well, maybe not perfectly, but... To an extent that I don't seem like a complete raging I idiot. Blah, blah. Mm. I am tongue-tied for no reason. That is bad. I lost my voice the other day. And by the other day, I mean yesterday, last night, so I wasn't sure I was going to record today. But, you know, I'm fine. Ah, we got to go back over here. Oh, what? I... Oops. That was stupid of me. <sighs> Didn't mean to ground pound into the... Game? I don't want to die. Especially in such a stupid way. Oh, it suck. Alright, uh... No, not Piccolo. Vivian. We don't need Piccolo right now. Oh yeah, by the way, speaking of TFS references, I actually just went and bought a shirt off a of shark robot for a uh, Patty Cake Champion shirt. It's pretty cool. I thought it was hilarious. I was either going to buy that or the Majestic Space Duck shirt, but uh, yeah, really wanted the, the Patty Cake Champion one because I am the Patty Cake Champion. <laughs> for those of you who don't watch that show, seriously, go watch TFS. I can't advertise it anymore. I love that show. Alright, and now we just gotta use Piccolo to come on over here and insert this gate handle. And that will let us to get through here. Ooh! Whoa, that freaky voice is making noise again. The ghost must be nearby. Uh, really, Piccolo? I had no idea. I thought that was just the built in sound speaker that's in this place. Alright, let's head back up here. Because we gotta get on that boat panel once more. I still like this place. There's not much left in the Pirate's Grotto. But, I still like this place. It's just the music and the way that it looks and all that. It kind of reminds me of the Goonies. That one scene. Well, not really the scene, but that whole part from the Goonies. That part where they're walking through that giant grotto. I'm sure everybody's seen the Goonies before. 
If you haven't, what the hell are you doing? How are you breathing? How are you alive? Okay, this part used to give me so much trouble when I was a little kid. Oh, God, it's going to give me trouble now, isn't it? All right, well, you got to avoid all these tides. There's a little bit of a trouble because sometimes they'll spawn directly on top of you, and you'll be screwed. Uh, but, hopefully my reflexes are fast enough to allow me to, oh, escape these waves. Oh, God. Um, and uh, I won't have to restart here at the last second. All right, so they arise from here, and I've had them rise directly on top of me when I got to the end here before, but, you know, nicely taken care of by, my, by me. Hey, something's coming. There, floating on the water. That is a clusterfuck of orange toads. Is that a is that a boat? Hey, over here! Save us, please. Yep, paper boat coming to the rescue. <laughs> They're all disappointed by the paper boat now. This part's pretty cool. Maybe because there's this giant ship that's randomly in the background rocking back and forth. Well, don't us underestimate my paper boat, because I will save you guys. Oh, I almost missed that. Okay. Well, in order to save these guys, we got to use our paper airplane skills. So, let's use it. And then right about here, just drop down. And then we gotta hit another switch after this. And, uh, they'll be saved. Wow, we're only six minutes into this episode. I thought we were like 15 or so. I want to go check the clock. Alright. And then just paper our airplane our way over to this other one. Ooh, close. And perfect. Nicely done. Let's just jump on this one and. You are saved! Hey, we can cross over now! Hey, hey! What are we waiting for? Let's go! Hmm... Some of those toads didn't look like toads to me. I don't know... Something just a bit suspicious. Nah, whatever. It's probably nothing. And now we've just got to do our fa final paper airplane move over to the very end here. Hopefully not screwing up. Nicely done. I don't know how you did it, but you saved us. We came here looking for that pirate treasure, and then, well, our ship got surrounded by ghosts out in the ocean. And we all end up here. Hey, aren't you Mario? It's me, me, Don Pianta's daughter, Francesca. And Frankie's here, too. After my dad forgave us, we set out on a trip. The ship we got on a, was a little too close up to this island. Now look at us. Still, I'm amazed the rumors about Cortez were all true, which means he's nearby. Hey, so, by the way, why are you here? Don't tell me Daddy had you come to take us back. What? You're after the pirate's treasure? You're looking for a crystal star? Well, I think the treasure's right in there. Watched by Cortez's spirit. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be able to take care of him, though. You look tough. Besides, Cortez is the one that trapped us on that raft. Just smack him one for me. All right, well, Cortez is in this next room. And, oh, do we want to take care, care of Cortex this part? Uh, sure, why not? Whoa, whoa! Whoa, did I surprise you? Yeah, sorry about that. See, I actually followed you here, but I got lost along the way, and, uh... Well, anyway, I followed this path, and I finally caught up with you, and then... Listen, just forget it, okay? I'm sure the Crystal Star is inside that pirate ship. And the pirate ship, King Cortez, who I misread, and now just awkwardly trying to shake it off, is in there, too. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, probably. No big deal, though, right? You can take it, big guy. We're counting on you. Boy, I know I sure am. And so is Grotus. Hmm. Grotus seems to be a popular name these days. Ah, whatever. Do we need to recharge? Yeah, why not? Go ahead and recharge before this boss fight. Ooh, you ignored my warning. Ooh, come.
come inside the door and be lost in darkness. Uh, there's nothing in here, I don't think. Tons of spider webs, though. Ooh, treasure. Ooh, come into my <laughs> Ooh. Enough. I grow tired of this spooky ooh business. I am a pirate, Blastid. Pirates do not moan. I am a cold blooded Vidigan. Vidig. Vidig. Oh my god, I'm face bombing so hard. How do you misread that word that badly? Brain, why? Why brain? Okay. Let's give this another shot. I am a cold blooded villain who robs innocence of life and loot, not a crying ghost. And you are after my treasure! And this, this is my ship. What are you doing here? Speak. Now turn your mustache into a bone polisher, amigo. Yo ho ho ho! And this is probably the best boss music in the entire game. I love it, it's so awesome. Um, you didn't have a spine a few seconds ago. This is Pirate King Cortez. Fairly easy boss battle. Probably the hardest of all the main ones. But, uh... Yeah, alright. Uh, first things first, let's jump on Cortez himself. And then have Bob Reeve bomb his bone pile. We get some music interference here. Or not interference, but, uh, lag on my computer. Oh, hey, nicely dodged. I rarely do that. Okay, and then just power jump him again. This first part's not that hard. This guy actually has three phases. He's a pretty cool boss. Probably my favorite in the entire game. And now he's been defeated for the first time. This second part, I usually can't do too well. I think, I think you have to free up his jewel in the middle to make him weaker. I could be wrong. So I'm just gonna power jump on him and check. No, still to seven. I don't really know then. He dropped all of his swords. I think it's good to uh, get him all the way down to that pile. Ooh, that's quite a bit of attack. Blow him up, Bobbery. Alright, that takes him down, almost all the way down there. Okay. Oh. I don't know how that hurt him, but okay. Maybe he takes one damage per turn when that happens. Okay, so apparently I can jump on this jewel. Oh, but I miss. Please say he misses too. Oh, of course he doesn't. That would just be too convenient. I would have power jumped on him there, but... This stupid fog. And he's gotten one hit on us so far. And he's already in his final phase. So Booyah taking care of this guy pretty easily. Oh, thanks, Ghost Boo. That's nice of you. Unintentional running. Alright. Well, this part is actually good to use Art Attack on. Because his swords die with a one hit of the Art Attack, I think. And it's just good to take care of him. Because his swords can do different things, especially that hook. The hook poisons you. The rapier does a lot of damage, and uh, the other two are just annoying. There we go. Bobbery can't do anything, so we'll just appeal with him. Oh, bite me. Jesus. Okay, um, still enough flower power to power jump on him, so... Oh, wow. Totally messed that up. Wait a minute. My power jump does less than... What? Oh. I think my power jump does less than my actual jump. Now that I think about it. Arrgh, I can't take much more of these. This calls for something special. Now you will see the true point of my spirit form. And then he eats the souls of half of the audience. Only reason you really don't want a lot of audience for this. And his swords are back, but I think we have enough health, especially considering uh, I'm invisible for this turn. So let's just power jump on Cortez again. Oh, well, screwed that up. Okay. And then I'll just bomb... I'll bomb his hook, because his hook can poison you, and that does not make me happy. And all of his swords actually get to attack. Well, that's good. 
Okay, that one's gonna attack Bobbery. And then the Rapier attacks everybody. And then Cortez is gonna... Wow, everybody's attacking Bobbery. That's cheap. Okay. Let's power jump on Cortez again. I screwed off that up again. Jeez. Alright, come on, Bobbery. Don't die on me now. I, I know I have Vivian after this. And oh, wow. That's bad. No, stop hitting. Oh, he killed Bobbery. Life shoot. No, I didn't want to waste that. Damn it. Only waste that on Mario game. Jeez. Alright, this fog is going to screw me over. Okay, can you go away, Fog, please? I beg of you, damn it. Okay. Well, his hook is back. I've taken care of most of his health now. Alright, uh, just bomb this hook again because I don't want to get poisoned. Thank god the fog's gone away. Watch it come back right when I don't want to. You know, I can be fine with them attacking Mario, considering Mario has a lot more, uh, defense. Okay, he should be dying awfully soon here. Let's just power jump on him once more. And there we go. We killed Cortez. And he yields a full 30 star points. Cool beans. No, my treasure! <laughs> Yo, ho, 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 you are foolish, amigo, for I am not dead. Well, technically, I was already dead, but my spirit endures, back to my treasure. So you cannot do anything to me. I do not leave, amigo. Still, guarding this treasure for hundreds of years is almost as boring as death. What? You are not even interested in my treasure? Then why are you here? Huh? You want this, amigo? This little rock over here. Are you serious? Well, that's no big deal. Here, take it. What do I need one or two extra gems for? I did not really like that one anyways. So... You got a crystal star! Your star power is now six and it's been fully replenished. And that is the end of the chapter. Cortez. Scourge. Scour Scour Scourge? Ah Of the Seas. Mario soundly defeated this fearful spirit and claimed the crystal star. Perhaps the peaceful citizens of the world no longer needed to fear Cortez and his fell ship. The only problem remaining is how Mario will escape this isolated island, and how could there possibly be another problem hiding beneath our hero's nose? About that, there actually is. But we'll find out about that problem in the next part. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.